Okay, so I'm over here on the Playa de Palma, but we're not going to head in this direction towards El Arenal. We're going to head on straight ahead in the direction of Campastir. I thought I'd give you a quick look at what Campastir is like today. And it's a very popular resort for those, those coming over here on holiday, whether you're coming from Germany or from elsewhere in the world. But it's a fantastic resort as well to come to for a very short break. And also to get a really good value break as well, because well, we've got plenty of hotels over here not only that you're five minutes from the airport whether by taxi or by bus the airport runways just the other side of these hotels here but let's take a walk down into Campastir I'm going to give you an idea of prices what it's like today if you're thinking of coming over here on holiday okay so we're just going to turn the camera around and take a look at the beach today and it is looking absolutely gorgeous over here in Campastir a little bit windy but absolutely beautiful. Now, anyway, we're gonna head on up towards Campastia Center. We're just coming down a long line of, of cafes and bars, and also to the all-important sunbed area too. Okay, so I'm just bumped into Michelle and Stephen from Edinburgh. Good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon. Tell me, how is your holiday over here in Mallorca so far? Amazing, absolutely amazing. So we've come, been coming for years and years and years. So we had the cruise last week um, and then we're staying in Palma Nova and we've just been to the aquarium, which is magic. And then a walk down the beach here. So it's been phenomenal, phenomenal. And um, where's your favorite place on the island? Um, you're staying over in Palma Nova. What do you think of Campastia and Playa de Palma? Yes, we're in uh, Palma Nova, staying at the Santa Lucia, uh, opposite the so on Matthias Beach, so that's where we're staying there. Yeah, we, lo we love the beach here, it's fantastic, but our favourite place, or my favourite place anyway, is La Calobra, uh, and we're there on Thursday. Lovely. Oh my goodness, fantastic. And so, what are your impressions from over here on the Playa de Palma and Campastia? Oh, it's gorgeous. The beach is absolutely stunning. Beautiful beach. The planes coming back and forward, just one behind you now, is great. You could sit here and watch the, the world go by all day. And I have to ask you, I've been asking everyone, um, how welcome do you feel over here in Mallorca? You know what, very welcome. We haven't seen a single thing anti-tourist wise at all. Uh, it's been fantastic. That is brilliant to hear. Guys, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your holiday. Thank you. Now the absolute beauty of the beach over here on the Playa de Palma, down here in Campastir, is that, well, it never gets overly busy because, well, this is a huge beach stretching down. You've got areas uh, where you can get the sunbed rentals, but you've also got vast areas of empty sands too. And we're just coming up to an area where you can rent sunbeds for the day. Let's check out the prices. Now we're going to see varying prices for sunbed rentals over here in Mallorca this summer. Down here on the Playa de Palma, to rent a sunbed is just 6 euros, to rent a beach umbrella is also 6 euros. And in the VIP area, well that does go up to 18 euros, but look, this is just to give you an idea of the cost of beach services for this summer. And there does seem to be plenty of supply too, that you can see there are lots of spare sunbeds as we're coming along the beach. However, I cannot see the presence of any security boxes over here on these cheaper sun umbrellas. Just bear that in mind if you're coming over. So right in front of the Ballinaria, you can see an access here, disabled access to the beach. You can see the tent with the, with the water wheelchairs, with the walking sticks. And right to my left hand side as well, look, you, there's a toilet block here. Also for disabled holiday makers, you just need to get the key from the lifeguard. And look, there's even a ramp going up to. So coming along this beach bar here, we've got the, the luxury area for the sunbeds. These are 18 euros each. You do get a mat to go on the sunbed. You do get a slightly nicer umbrella. A little bit more expensive. Once again, I cannot see security boxes on the beach umbrellas, which is a little bit of a shame. It does look very nice, all the same. And you don't need to travel very far either if you want to go to the bars because, well, right across the road here, you've got a huge selection of bars and restaurants. Or indeed, you can come in there to this Balanario, and I'm outside Balanario of 15 here, one of the many beach bars which run right down the Playa de Palma. So 
So looking out on the water today, you can see with the breeze that we have over here, we've got a lot of kite surfers and wind surfers out. This is a very, very popular area in Mallorca for windsurfing and kite surfing. So I'm just coming down the side of the El Cid Hotel. You're going to find the El Nino Surf Centre where you can come and get equipment hire like stand up paddle balls or kayak, kayak hire too. If you've got any water sports queries, pop on in. Pretty sure they can help you out also with windsurfing too. Don't forget too, to consider subscribing to the channel as well if you want to find out more things to do over here in Campastia or on the Playa de Palma too. I've either got that video coming out very soon. If it's already published, I'll pop it right at the end of this video and I'll put a link in the description text below too. But hit that notifications bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. very empty sunbeds on this side of the beach, these orange sunbeds. I'm not quite sure why that is. It's a little bit more sheltered on this side of the beach actually. We don't really have the breeze. You can see where I've just come from. You can see the sunbeds away in the distance. But over here, well, there seems to be plenty of availability. As we head on into towards Campastia. So tickets for this tourist train are five euros fifty and it runs all the way down towards Aranal. Now my goodness me, I was not expecting to see this over here on the Playa de Palma today. I can now understand why there's so few sunbeds that have been taken on the far side of the beach just check out the seaweed now it's here in industrial quantities you can see that they haven't actually cleared the mountain of seaweed away off the beach from the winter this huge pile you can see to my left is actually seaweed that's washed up on the beach over the winter months but check out the coastline here my goodness me i mean it's incredible this probably explains why so few sunbeds have actually been taken because well the entry entry point into the water here is going to involve climbing over a mountain of seaweed too let me check it out what's going on in mallorca this year i mean to say what is going on in mallorca this year if we don't have problems over in porto poyenza you may well have seen my sunbed gate video from over there we don't seem to have the sunbeds and beach services and, and, and beach umbrellas over in porto poyenza but you've got this huge mountain of seaweed over here in uh, in campastia now of course seaweed is natural it's not going to harm you in any way but um it may be a little bit unsightly for those people coming over here on holiday which probably explains the concentration of holiday makers further on the beach and also further down the Playa de Palma as well. It doesn't look so good up here. I don't know, I don't know what, what the issue is with getting the islands ready for this year. We're, we're hurtling towards peak season, we're hurtling towards July. I'm just wondering when the tractors are going to come down and clear this end of the beach. Or indeed if they're going to do anything about the coastline here and clear this huge amount of seaweed away. Of course we've got loads of hotels around us as well. So going to be a bit bizarre. Let me know what you think in comments as well. Does this make you want to come down to Campastia? Maybe not, who knows. Anyway, come on, let's keep walking. But on the upside as well, if you are looking for a quieter uh, seaside experience, then by all means come up to this side of, of Campastia because you're going to find very few people here pitching up for the day. Now you would have seen it on my live streams from over here on the Playa de Palma from Campastia, but we've got lots of fantastic restaurants all the way along here, which also gives some really nice views along our seaweedy beach. <laughs> um, but we're going to turn around now because I'm going to show you where everyone has gone. The beach isn't looking quite as empty on this side, on this far side of Campastia, near the real club Nautico around the... Uh, we're going to find the boats being moored around the marina. Quite busy over here, plenty of sunbeds too. 
and also a much easier entry point into the water. My guess is actually that they have left the seaweed here because as you can see right in front of me we've got all the kite surfers and the wind surfers. Maybe that seaweed has been left to keep swimmers out of that area and to allow water sports to take place. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are in comments. Also, I'm just turning around here. We're outside Bonner Honor. They do lots of uh, water sports equipment rentals. Got paddle surfboards as well. They do lessons too. Plus, they even do excursions as well from 65 euros per person. Looking to my right as well at the Manu restaurant, you can see they've got a few options for menu del dias. Get a sandwich and a drink from around 15.50. I'm more of a fan of the flip-flop cafe and bar right next door. I've had some lovely sandwiches over there in the past as well. They've also got a good uh, veggie selection as well, if that's something you're interested in. It's got Seoul cocktail bar too. So I've got plenty of food options over here in Campastia. They're all steps away from the beach as well, so you needn't worry about coming over here to eat. And I'm just outside um, the Blue Dune Lounge and Bar. I see they have evening entertainment here as well. It's part of a hotel. Pretty sure you can just come in here, buy a drink and enjoy the music. But I do see a cocktail menu here. So let's see how much they are over here in Campastia for this summer. And the going rate here for a cocktail is going to be around somewhere between 10 and 12 euros. So I'm just coming up to the area of some really popular seafood restaurants over here in Campastia. Okay, so we've just come to the area where you're going to find three really famous seafood restaurants over here in Campastia. Now, you can see they're a little bit empty today. In fact, the Playa Cita is, is closed. And that is because I'm filming this on the Monday. And on the Sunday, while well, these areas are completely packed with locals coming down here for a, a seafood paella or a seafood lunch, Just to give you an idea as well as some of the seafood dishes, I'll just run the camera down this menu board too. Bucarones, which is like little fried uh, fish for 13 euros. Oh, you've got clams here for 17 euros. And also really good value here, look for paellas, just under 17 euros per person which is probably, I think, probably the cheapest I've seen on the island, but I think it's going to be really good down here because, well, these restaurants are here are really famed for their seafood. Which brings us down onto Cala Estancia Beach. Looking quite busy down here as well. It's a nice little beach. It's quite small compared to the huge Playa de Palma. But it does neighbour some major hotels in this area. I'm just standing to the right, to the left of the BQ Hotel. You do have plenty of sunbed rentals down here too. A little bit of a calmer bay as well, so maybe if you're here with small children, this might be quite a pl good place to come for the day. Just because it's a little bit more sheltered than the, than the windiest seas that we have. Well, at this particular moment I'm filming over here on the Playa de Palma. So this whole area is purpose-built for tourism. You've got your tourism shops. We've got even more rental equipment, rental areas here, more cafes, bars and restaurants, and hotels too. I'm just loving the new lifeguard huts that I've got over here on the Playa de Palma for this year, and over in the Palma area, the Baywatch style lifeguard huts. Also, another reason I do love this little beach over here on Cala Estancia is because it is a no smoking beach, which is once again really, really good um, if you're coming over here with small kids. Not allowed to smoke on this beach. If you're caught, you're going to face a hefty fine. 
We're just coming to the end of Cala Estancia Beach here as well. Look, you've got this little line of restaurants just running down the end too. Let's go and have a walk down alongside those. So over here in Cala Estancia on the beach here, you can see that we also have a slight problem with seaweed. It has made the water look a little bit brown. Now, it does actually look pretty unsightly, I have to say. But once again, this is just perfectly natural. It's, it's, it's part of the environment. I don't know why they haven't cleared it away. Maybe they're protecting the beaches. Maybe they can't clear it away. I don't know, but it's not looking great over this side of Cala Estancia Beach either. So it's actually quite quiet down here for Amanda. Not many people out here having lunch today. Of course, it's gonna be a lot busier over the weekends. I can see the, the very famous uh, Mel's Bar is not open today it's not open on the monday in case that you are british and you do want to come down in fact there are quite a few restaurants over here that are actually shut on the monday i haven't picked the best day to come down today but you are going to find plenty of choice down here Okay, so I'm a little bit surprised that the beaches haven't really been cleared over here on the far side of Campastia and also over here in Cala Estancia, particularly in Cala, Cala Estancia, it does look a little bit unsightly, but I just want to make the point that even though it is brown, um, it's perfectly safe to swim in, otherwise the lifeguards would have closed the beaches. So what is going on here on the island? I don't know. I don't know why, why holidays are costing so much money and also maybe the beach services aren't quite up to what they normally are um, standard-wise year on year either. Hopefully somebody will get down and clear the beaches before we have um, the, the huge amount of holiday makers that are expected for this summer in 2024, but who knows? Who knows indeed? And before the environmentalists jump on my, my back as well, yes, seaweed is natural and yes, it is part of the environment, but if you're paying that much to come over here on holiday, and many people are paying twice as of what they paid last year, plus they're paying tourist tax as well. Maybe particularly on the on the Campas Deer side, they would expect like to be able to walk into the sea, but you know, that's just my opinion. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it proved useful. I'll be back here to do a live stream at some point. Don't forget to consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And also you can find me in the Facebook group and on my Instagram, also called Mallorca Under the Sun. I've got more content from over this way. I'm going to just pin it here and here on YouTube. Thanks very much for watching everyone. I shall see you on the next one. Goodbye for now.